Hey guys, Zach Kin, Flip with Rick here. I'm so excited for this vlog today. I'm gonna show you another deal, another day, another deal of how I'm gonna probably make over 40 to $50,000 on this deal. I'm gonna share the numbers, share everything with you. So stay tuned for this video. It's gonna be a vlog series on this one. I gotta call this, I gotta call each house flip a different name. I think I'm gonna call this one the zombie tenant flip. I think that's a cool name for it just because the, the, the tenant's acting like a zombie for me on this one. Uh, so that's gonna be the zombie tenant flip one on this one. So uh, let's go in the car, let's go to the deal. Let me catch you up on the car ride. I'm um, gonna have Rick hold the camera on this one, but uh, let's go to the deal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before I get in this car, before I show you this awesome deal, you need to smash that like button and subscribe to get more videos from me. So uh, like that video, let's get in the car, let's go. Hey guys, we are driving to the property right now. I am actually have the cameraman Rick here. Say hi. What's up, guys? Hey, we are actually, so he was bored today, so uh, usually he doesn't really deal with this. It's mostly me, uh, but he wanted to check that out. see what he's got. So uh, that's it. So uh, I wanted to just talk about the property before we go there. I'm a little anxious uh, seeing it. I, I don't really know what's going on with it. All I know is I bought the property for $135,000. Um, as you can see here on the HUD, uh, we bought it a couple months ago for $135,000. And then we had some closing costs, so maybe 136, 137 in total on that property. I've shown the HUD, so that's what we bought it for a couple months ago. And the reason why I got such a good price on that property is there was a tenant in there and that tenant refused to pay and they were just haggling the seller. He didn't want to deal with it. And I was honestly at like 150 on the property with him. And he was ready to go. I was like 150 and you can, you, like the, when the tent's cleared out. And he told me, he said, I gotta have, I gotta get rid of this property now. This COVID is ruining my other businesses. Like I, I can't handle it right now. It was ruining his businesses. He had to get rid of it. And I said, if I had this tenant in here, there's actually an eviction moratorium here in Florida which means I can't kick this tenant out. And Ron DeSantis just extended it another month all the way to October. Uh, so he's gonna keep extending it so I can't kick this tenant out. And I knew I could get him out with uh, cash for keys or something like that, so it was a lady in there. And uh, so I said, you know, at 135, I'll buy it with the tenant. It's such a stupid price where I'll make such a crazy profit. If you take it, I'll deal with it. And uh, they took it. So I bought the property for $135,000. Now I'm working with the tenant. I gave her about two months and she was like, okay, that's fine. Two months I can get out of here. And uh, she didn't fight me on it, which was shocking to me. Uh, she didn't have a lease, she was month to month. And so basically I gave her, so I let her pay me one month. I gave her the last month free and she moved out of there. So it's killer for me. So she, uh, she gave me a text, she said she moved out of there. I tried calling her asking what's the condition of the property. She's been ignoring me. Uh, I think she went out of state. So she's gone MIA on me. I've only talked to her like twice over the phone. So uh, we're going to this property right now. I don't know if she trashed it. But she obviously wasn't too happy about it. Like she doesn't like me. Um, so we're gonna see how this property looks. So uh, we're driving right now. I got from the, so I got the keys. I've never really actually I've only been the property once. So the way it worked was I went to the house, I had the tenant was in there, she was screaming at me. I went in there, I looked at the condition, it was fine, that's where I got the 150 from. I met the dude and went back to his house. We negotiated from there, it's that 150. I eventually got 135 with the tenant in it, with the tenant in the property, and the rest was history. I wrote the contract, we closed on it about two weeks later, I'd say, and we had it with the tenant there. So we talked to her. Like I've said before, two months and she moved out. So right now we're, so it's gonna be interesting to see uh, the condition she left it in. In my experience, tenants usually destroy properties when they leave. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be an interesting one. So I have the keys, we're gonna go to the property, we're gonna check it out and uh, we're gonna open this door and we're gonna see what's going on. Um, I was informed by one of our ladies that do our Transaction, transaction coordinating that the power is out and the water's off in the property. So she's 100% out of there. Uh, the only thing is, I just got to make sure there's no squatters in the house, no animals. So Zach, how did you get that information about the utilities? 
the transaction coordinator told me. Okay. So a little tip, you guys, is you can call and ask to turn on the utilities at your house, and usually you can kind of get them to tell you if the power's been turned on or off before. So if you know the power's been turned off, that's a, hopefully that'll give you an indication if, if the tenant's there or not. If you ask them straight up, they won't tell you, but you ask if you can turn the power on your house, they'll tell you if there's a previous power supply that's on or, or off. And by the way, you can call on the water too. Just a little tip. That's probably what she did. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's basically it. And uh, we're just gonna go over the property. We're gonna see the condition of it. Um, I'm gonna see who I gotta hire to get the thing done. Hopefully the th I can get this property on the market in a couple days. If she messed it up, probably have to do a little more work to it. But I haven't seen the property in probably two months. So this is gonna be an interesting one. So uh, that's it guys. So. Hey guys, probably ask where you don't even know because this is the Zach Ginn channel here. Um, who's Rick Ginn? <laughs> like, who's this guy uh, holding the camera? So, Rick, can you explain who you are and uh, bit about everything? I'm your father. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Rick's my dad. He actually taught me everything I know about real estate investing and wholesaling. So. Just the good stuff. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so basically, um, I work with him. I do the whole operations and acquisition side for him. And uh, we just partner up on these deals. Uh, so that's why Rick's with me on these. Uh, so no, I don't do these all myself. Uh, I mean, it'd be impossible to flip all these properties uh, by myself alone. Uh, but yeah, that's that's it, guys. So uh, let's, let's go to the property. A little anxious about this one. Uh, I feel a little twitchy on this one, but uh, we'll see how it's going. Either way, it's going to be... I feel like they're going to trash a little bit. I don't think it's going to be too bad. What do you think? They always trash them. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't feel good about this. All right, let's go. Okay. All right, guys, the moment of truth is here. Uh, this is my first reaction to the house. I, as you can see, let uh, me look around here. I mean, there's white stuff everywhere. It's either, either, I mean, it's, it's cocaine or drywall. And what, what do you think it is? Um, I just hope it's remnants of paint, but look at this. That's not good. Let me get a light here. Moment of truth. Make sure test on it. Something smells. Oh God. Hello. All right. Just open it. Here we go. The power on? I don't think so. Alrighty, here we go. Oh. Just got this. <coughs> That's a beard. Look at all the drywall dust. Oh my god, what? Are you sure it's drywall or sand? It's definitely drywall. Oh my god. All right guys, well, uh, honestly, I don't see any holes in the wall. So, I'm gonna count this as a win. So, I know the tenant was gonna do something great. Yeah, look, look here. So, you can tell that there's drywall remnants here. So they were smokers, um, so I guess they felt bad. There's no smoke smell in this house. So they probably, yeah. What were they, just sand and drywall? I don't even, I, I've never. Well, the, the idea is you remud it and it masks the smoke smell. Oh, there's no smoke smell. There's much easier ways to do it, I promise you. Okay. Um, but oh, wow. the, the question is, oh, and they painted it too. Interesting. All right, so. Okay. A lot of cool stuff here. So uh, let's show you the property. I mean, if as you can see here, we bought this for 135. This thing should easily sell in the 170s to 180s. Uh, so that, that should at least be 40k at a minimum in profit here. I mean, look at this kit. Like this kitchen. When I came in here, I mean, it was, it was a lot clean. Uh, see, look, ashtrays right here. More ashtrays. We got a lighter. I should check the garage, see if they cleaned it out for you. 
Here's a little here's a little tip for you guys. If the power is off, don't ever open the fridge. Wait 24 hours. And it'll freeze the smell over. Hello? That's where you gotta that's where you gotta find the zombie. Oh god, this is scary. Okay, let's go. Be a man. Oh. Good right. lord. And the drywall parade continues. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, this is my reaction. Like, I, I, oh my goodness. Here's the break room. Let's check this out. See if you can turn them on. Just put them in all in the on position. Here, can you bring one over here? Hold on. Oh, we got power. All right. Just shut the breakers off. Cool. Boom. So we can edit some of this stuff out, but. That's for that tabletop thing. Awesome. Okay, so we got power. All right, we got power. Sweet. All right. Let me put some lights on here. So uh, let's show you the quick tour of the house here. So uh, this is the, I guess, living slash dining room area. The flooring is actually pretty modern, I would say. This house was built in 07, I think. Oh wait, they, they threw some mattresses in here. Nothing an old dumpster don't, don't fix. Look at all these hangers. These are the most hangers I've ever seen in my life. There's a lot of hangers. All right, we got some phones here. Firewall on that. Okay. It's a terrible repair job, too. Okay. So, well, let's keep going here. Oh, fuck. They cover the couch in drywall dust. Okay. Wow. Look okay. at that. It's like snowing in here. Oh, jeez. Okay. Honestly, my expectations were a lot lower. A lot. So guys, here's a quick tip here. So the tenant, they left all the windows unlocked. So if they want to come back and come for seconds or maybe want to trash this house a little more, they can. Because they don't want to break into the house. Because if they break the windows, I'm going to know exactly who did it. Uh, so they leave it all unlocked here. Uh, we can go check all the windows here. Make sure you lock them. Here, come here, look at this. Look at this. Look, look at the tenant. So. The tenant put a, put a secret opening right here and kept that one unlocked. So they, as you can see here, they kept this one unlocked and they kept that one locked. So they have a secret little uh, opening so they think they can get in and just kind of come in whenever they want, they're, they're done. So this first of the month, they vacated the house. They left some nice sweet surprises for me. Let's, uh, all right, we got some. Cosmetic stuff right here. Oh, jeez. So Whoa, like that. look at that. Oh my gosh. You pick whatever nail color you want. Wow. Okay. I still understand why there's so much drywall dust in here. This is, okay. Like look how modern this bathroom is. So this is actually, I mean, this thing should easily be in the 170s, 180s. So this is a four bedroom property, which is pretty good. So got kind of broken in here, not too bad. So one, two, th three, and then the fourth one's over here. So here's the first bedroom. A killer deal right here. I mean, easy cleanup. Yeah. All right, let me go lock these. Yep, they're open. So let's just check around here, get some drywall. Basically what I want to do here is just get a 
what would you say, like a construction cleanup crew, and then just a guy, and then a dumpster, just sort of going to dump the stuff and get a cleanup crew in here and just throw it on the market. Like, what are your thoughts on the house? Uh, so the, the main plan is really get your own dumpster. I, I think it'll make a lot of money. Just get a big dumpster in here, the biggest one you can, I believe 30, um, 30 yards is what he's getting. And then you can find two people to come in here and just clean it out. So 15, 20 bucks an hour. So here's, here's a tip for a simple clean out. This property has two things going on. One, just a lot of home debris from a clean out. So a simple dumpster. If you can get a 40 yard dumpster that's 220 yards stacked on each other, I think in this case, what we get a 30? 130, oh, 30 foot one, yeah. 30 yards. So it goes by the yard and how much was that? Oh, 350. 350. So it's 350 and you need two strong guys. Um, they come in and honestly, it's anywhere from 10 to 12 hours of work. So the average going rates, 15 to 20 bucks an hour. You do have to give them instruction on, on how to properly load a dumpster. So key number one, let me show you here. When you see mattresses, box springs and couches, do not have them put that in the dumpster. It'll just eat it alive. Get out all the other debris and then just move that stuff in the garage and you can slowly just pick away and put it out on the curb. So honestly, it figured it's gonna be around a thousand bucks to do a cleanup. And then we're gonna to have to find uh, a detailed cleanup crew because all this fine dust is gonna get everywhere. So we look for a construction cleanup crew that has uh, your regular shop vac is not gonna be able to handle all this. So um, I think within $1,500, the whole house can be cleaned up. And the AC works, all the appliances are good. Put it back on the market hotel. And what do you think this thing will retail for, Zach? I mean, I'd say 170 to 180. We definitely have to look at the numbers a little tighter. I mean, it seems like a pretty busy street, but I think, I mean, the, the Zillow is 226 on this thing. So a couple of key tips. Next door, they're building another brand new home. So it shouldn't be hard to attract the right time. It's a little bit busier street, but I think we've already taken that into account when we do it. So. The idea is get in, get out, 30 days. That's our mission on flipping these houses and sell it hotel. So this is the first time I've seen the property. So good job, Zach, nice. Guys, so we bought this one for 135,000. We're gonna put about two grand into the actual cleanup of the property. So about 137, we're expecting to sell it maybe 170 to 180. Some mental math on that, that's like at least, I would say we, we should net between 40 and $50,000. Guys, in this vlog, you're gonna get exactly everything. I've showed you the HUDs. I'm gonna show you the actual sell side on this. I'm gonna share every single piece of what I do to this house and actually how I get this profit. That's the difference here at Flip with Rick. And that's how we're gonna get it done. That's the difference here with me and our company here, flipping properties here. So only $2,000 on the slip. This isn't a sexy HDTV one, but um, it's pretty good, guys. So. On the next vlog, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go show you, we're gonna have the dumpster here. I'm gonna have my guys start unloading it. I'm gonna show you exactly how I hired them, how I found them and what I'm paying them. Show them that I got the dumpster here, we're gonna dump it. And then we're gonna get the construction cleanout crew here. I'll share everything with you guys there. And then I'll show you when we put it on the market. And then lastly, when I go to the closing and we get that nice sexy check guys. So uh, thanks guys so much for watching this. Uh, this is Zach Ginn. And Rick Ginn, I'll featuring Rick Ginn also, guys. Flip with Rick. So this is Zach Ginn, guys. So um, this property is nice. Uh, I mean, we'll show the exterior real quick. So the roof is in really good condition here. So we got a brand new house being built here. That thing is going on the market for at least 230, I think. So that, and it's very similar comps. We actually have more square footage on this property. Uh, so 230, I'm just assuming 180 here just to be safe. I mean, if we make 60K, I mean, I hate, I'm not complaining. So uh, let's go around here just real quick. Check everything around here. All right. So we can tell we got some dog cages. Got some more drywall over here. Took a smoke detector out. Nice barbecue grill. So this thing right here is for the septic tanks, if you guys don't understand how that works. But um, this is for septic. So we got power here, which is very good. Neighbor's got a tiny house. 
Um, let's see. We're doing pretty well. A uh, quick tip for you guys. Uh, as you can see around here, you might be asking Zach, where's the main water valve? Um, it's actually right here. Um, that's where the main water valve is. And uh, that's it, guys. That's it, guys. Zach Ginn and Rick here from Flip with Rick. I'll see you on the flip side. Next vlog, we're gonna share with you how we got the dumpster and we're just gonna keep doing this flip, show you how we make over $50,000 on these deals. Um, I think things went pretty well today. Um, I was expecting a lot worse. What about you? No, it's, I, I think <clears throat> the question is, can Zach get everything done? I say 2K. Yeah. We'll see. I'm not fudging the numbers with you guys. So yeah. this is HGTV. This is HGTV. I, d I would say we bought this for a hundred grand. We flipped it for 500. We've made 400,000 and you can do too if you got my seminar. But uh, we're sharing this knowledge for you for free. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Zach in.